Good day everyone, this is Armoured Annie. Oh, you can't see me, but this is me and I am back here with my first subsistence series. We are on episode 17 and oh there you go, it's just starting to get bright. And uh, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I did a little bit just to tidy up out here a bit. It's not perfect and I won't draw your attention to the fact that these planters are hiding a but ugly join under there, but... Oh, and there's little gaps here that are going to drive me potty. And I've noticed that my generator is now very noticeably sticking out. So we will just tidy this up a minute. Um, and then we will see, and let's turn it around. And then we will see what we're going to get up to for the day. Um, a reminder, is it still here? We had... Um, oh, well, we had this weird dot. No, it's gone now. That weird white dot was here. And it's not there anymore. But look, we've got rogues here. Um, right. And nothing else other than Alpha, Bravo in there. And now we know Charlie down there. Right, a quick check up here. I, cause I forgot to check the map in the night. Um, whilst I was too busy doing stuff, I can't. No, oh, that's just light reflecting. So, yeah, I might be all right running down into the new area. So, I think that is what we will do. We are reasonable on... I, oh, let's just put that back in there. We've got a pickaxe. We've got ammo. We've got a 44. Sorry. I'm still happy about that, as you may have noticed. Um, we've got a double round of everything. Probably could do with taking some extra water with me. Oh yes, that's right. We're still waiting for that to rot so that we can make a repellent. Um, having watched the new... Oh, button. Having watched the sneak peek for the new update. Oh, it's tomatoes. Have I just picked the wrong one? Ah, I have because it wasn't ready. Oh, well, I need the veg. There you go. Never mind. Uh, we'll leave that slot. That's fine. It was meant to be. Um, but yes, as I thought, we're going to need scrap and metal and just about everything. So normal rules in subsistence are you pick up everything, even if you think you don't need it. And I think that is even more so the case in advance of this new uh, update. Right, let's just get myself sorted. Pay attention to what you're doing then, Annie. I'm a little bit um, over overwhelmed and, and, well, yeah, overwhelmed and almost speechless, which is very rare for me. Anyone who knows me would tell you. Um, I do have a little tip jar set up for this YouTube channel, not really for any reason other than, you know, to, to have a, the, you know, a decent mic and just to spend some time and, and focus on, on producing content like this does, you know, take a little bit of money and um, as a um, <laughs> I don't know what the word is, owner, as someone who runs a charity and uh, as well as a household I'm not necessarily in the position to be able to justify spending money on something that I largely well, I completely do for my own pleasure um so I, I anyway i've got a little tip jar set up just in case anybody wanted to do that and i had my first coffee bought by the amazing wonderful gentleman and scholar uh scallywag and um yeah absolutely a, just a beautiful beautiful thing to do um very encouraging my family found it hilarious because uh, the notification came through when we were all together and they thought it was brilliant to see mum rendered speechless. So thank you. And thank you, really. We can just keep saying that. We also, oh, Blueberry, need to pay attention though to our surroundings. Do I still have my lockpick? I do still have my lockpick. That is good because we would quite like to find a crate to pick with the lock. 
Um, where did I get to on the map? Yeah, you see, I still think I've got a little way. I probably shouldn't have done that in a dip, just in case. I think I've still got a little bit to open up up there. And of course, when I said that in the last episode, I then, in the process of heading into a bit that was covered by the fog of war, I discovered some rogues, rascally rogues. Um, did I just hear a bear? I don't think so. Um, so I do need to be alert. Because we all need alerts. Um, in case that happened, there's a bear. That wasn't the bear I heard. Let's come up here. Ha ha ha. Come up here carefully. Because maybe I did get as far as the... No, I didn't. Okay. Sorry, that's the problem when you play a couple of profiles, isn't it? You think, oh yes, I've mapped this bit out. And then you realise that you haven't. And I always say, I do think that would be quite a cool place to build something. Just so many beautiful spots. Now, I, I, seeing the sneak peek of that vehicle um, and trying to sort of guess the new parts and processes and possible uh, resources that oh, hello, that that might be included in the update. Um, uh, it's, I think it's something that I'm going to be going back to an existing profile to try to achieve uh, before I worry about aiming there with this one. I think I need to get over my reticence in going after cougars, which will certainly improve after I have upgraded my shotgun a little bit. Um, I heard a wolf. And the problem is, is that I'm still... Where are... Oh, you're up there. Okay. I know that um, Arpeggio teaches really well how the, the, the thing is, is you have to freeze. The minute you hear that growl um, or sort of whatever from the bears as well, You, if you stop and then move away slowly, you can be all right. There you go, KJ, just for you. I'm going to get the potassium. Um, but I'm afraid, as, as I've said before, I think the old uh, survival instinct kicks in. And I've spent years playing this game without knowing what I was doing, really, or knowing anything about how to, you know, play it properly or use the game mechanics against itself. Really? And that's just a shadow. No, it is a lock crate. Oh, well, there you go. Um, and simply running from anything. Uh, no sinew. That's a bit of a poo. Um, so, yeah, I do find it hard to break out of the habit of just running. Uh, uh, talking of just running... You can get behind the tree, aren't you? Is that coming up? I don't want to lose my arrow, Mr. Bunny. I don't mind losing my arrow in you. As horrid as that sounds. Uh, huh. You're a chicken. Map. Yeah, okay, so. The fence is just over here. On the other side of that wolfy wolfy. So we might have to go shooty shooty. Oh yeah, because there's one up there as well. Sorry, it's just going to be a one of them, I'm afraid. 
Uh -uh. Just because I'm really conscious of the fact that I still only have one antidote. And, uh, unless I just picked one up in the crate. No, I didn't. Um, and I'm really don't want to have to use it. I was going to say I'm keeping it for emergencies, but clearly getting infected is the emergency that you would use it on. Is that one liver? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wash my hands in the stream. Oh, uh, oh eh, come back. Medicinal herbs. I was, um, discussion on, uh, a video old newbie put out a sort of a reaction video as it were to the um, sneak peek which I thought was brilliant by the way great idea um, oh my word sorry for some reason I looked at that wolf and thought it was a person well, you're going to be a shotgun whoa well that very nearly made made my earlier words prophetic um yeah i just glanced up for some i thought it was a, a a man and then as my brain registered the fact that it was the wrong sort of <laughs> color oh it was oh, the shape of a black wolf um but yeah sorry i sidetracked and then sidetracked from my sidetrack what was that that's a chicken that's the chicken that keeps running away from me uh, old newbie reaction video yes brilliant discussion about the the tires what could it be that the tires are going to be made out of what do we have any resource currently in the game that would be used within uh crafting something that could be used as a tire uh yeah we well, see we've done that haven't we um, and I guess, I mean, I know it, it's not 100% logical, um, you know, if you use planks and scrap, uh, planks and cordage to make something like a, an elevator shaft, then clearly it doesn't have to be too realistic as such. But there isn't always an element of, uh, correct. Oh, well, um of correct materials so i was thinking adhesive you know we have a glue um maybe a glue could be the basis of a rubberized product do we think uh i you know using something like potassium which whilst it might not be correct um i can see cold games using something like that a thing that you know otherwise we tend to ignore um so yeah i just uh wondered if anybody had any thoughts as as to what they think could get used where did i say the robes were they weren't in the new area that's what I said. Okay. Um. Oh, another rabbit. Need the cloth. Need everything. Um. Yeah, so. I was wondering what else we might have that would be useful. I think with all the different types of parts. Ah, yes, pearls. Sorry. That was a train of thought that nearly went off the rails. Yeah, um, poles, circuit boards, so many different types of things that we're going to need to use to make all the individual parts of the vehicle. And obviously there's going to be a lot of... Oh! Row? I don't recall seeing them. Ah, oh, and another locked crate. Oh, would you Adam and Eve it? Okay. That's not undoable. 
to get back to or unachievable rather um let's see let's see but yes i did say last episode that i needed to get pearls uh because we need circuit boards for most of the things that we want to do next and um I have one. So we are definitely in need of circuit boards. Rabbit, you are fine for the moment. Because it is me that is running. Or well, that needs to be running, not you. Because we are going to one home. There's an ore up there. Oh. But I want that lock crate. Now I think... I had set another set it so that there was another 18 iron smelted oh there you go chicken oh do you know what this is quite funny actually I'll probably no no do not get sidetracked by the chicken he's trying to do that on purpose um oh fire's gone out uh, what are we going to do? Right, I am uh, a little bit caught. Cool. Let's put some stuff away. I know I need to get some of that out again. But I just need to make some space. So I can get two, one, two, three, four. And over here. And pick up you. And come back. And click. Craft. Fine. Then whilst we're here, we're going to drink you. Uh, we're going to put you in there. Oh. Right, hang on. I do need to get rid of some things. That doesn't go in there. Um, but they do. I suppose it doesn't really matter putting those things away because those are things that if I get a crate, I'm probably going to pick up. Um, but no, why am I going into the fire to pick up a lockpick? It's there. So actually, let's do that a minute. Let's put you away. Um, I better put the adhesive away. It also helps to see what I have picked up. Let's run you there, you there. Put another 18 on now. Keep this going. Out of here. Yep, chicken, you're still there. And guess what? I'm still not going to grab you. Because I am a woman with a one-track mind. I am hunting locked crates. Uh, but I'm also good at detouring for strawberries, apparently. But apart from strawberries, I have a one-track mind. We are looking for locked crates not looking for love oh sorry it's been a long afternoon I'm recording this on Saturday I put an episode out this morning that was a double length one um, by accident really rather than intent just simply because I took on those two bases and therefore did a lot of editing and ended up either with one that I felt was too short or one that was too long um so i shall probably put this one up sunday and then try to get a few more sorry i thought i heard something a few more oh i did hear something a few more recorded to get going for the week now can it oh look hello I was just going to say, can anybody remember where the lock crate was? I don't know. Can you remember where the lock crate was? I think it was about here. Still no sinew. Grr. But gears. And I'm guessing that probably gears will end up being something that we're going to need for the new vehicle. So whilst, as I say, that's not something that I'm entertaining any ideas about at the moment, 
for this profile. Um, yeah, ears. Let, let, let's grab them. Uh-huh. Oh, and those up and over doors on the garage. So, how about having those as the entrance to your base? So you run up towards your base and it would be cool if you could open them remotely but you know running up to your base and sort of being able to open the shutters run through and shut them behind you uh, i'm thinking of like my bases where i tend to always build effectively an outer perimeter around the base so that um the uh hunters have to stay back um, and can't can't throw molotovs can't get too near to throw molotovs so uh, yeah I quite like the idea of being able to have them as long as they aren't something that for some reason you can only put on the sort of garage for want of a better way to describe it don't know but yeah I definitely think I would try that out in a previous profile probably the one that is on my um, in the miscellaneous um, the the one where I've built <laughs> walkways halfway across the map um, simply because that's the one with the most resources so I tend to use that for testing out um, new new um when new updates come out if there's things so uh the climbing axes i made them in that profile and, and to go up after the eagle mm. see there's no point in getting a chicken coop until you can get a fridge because you just you can't build up the excess veg look I wasn't even anywhere near you I didn't have to run oh, it's annoying that you can't get kelp in streams because otherwise I feel a little wander I see there is a bear near to the base that's the bear that likes to come in and um, snuggle up under the warmth of my fire I think I did say I was wondering whether I could build a, um, a fence around the outside and keep the thing as a pet what do we think we think that's doable uh -uh. no don't miss Annie the entrance to your base when there's a bear around um am i going to let's put a fuel brick in to get this restarted because i'm worried about this meat going off so we'll put that all in yeah i know i probably should have headed out and tried for kelp but i didn't so that particular lock crate wasn't that good really was it um can't really see anything in here other than the gears that were anything to write home about i suppose medicinal tonics are handy because they do save you panicking about um going out and getting fish oil that's smelting that let's put you out on this to finish up oh now now the cotton's ready there you go now the cotton's ready right let's do that let's put the seeds away right so we're doing all right on tomato seeds which as i say i will want them once the once i'm cooking uh that is going down so let's just put you on for a little bit so i'd quite like to keep my power up uh do, 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 potassium i was saying kj was saying you know why don't we oh, well, 
what have I got against potassium? Uh, nothing. Um, it's just simply here where you have, when power is something that you are still being very careful about, then, um, oh, hello. Then, um, oh, I don't want to use you. What happens if you go that way? Oh, you found something to bash. Whoops. Probably didn't want to do that until I found out where he went. So that is my... So he's jumped up, presumably, and caught that at the end. I forgot that was a platform. Okay. Now, oh, well, that's how we experiment on these things. I wanted to get down and top my water up. Hey, now, that's not very nice. Oh, I've set myself in a bind now, haven't I? Because I need to do... If I'm going to get down there with him... Oh, no, he's going out over there. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. That is fine. We can deal with that. We just avoid him. Um. Oh, I've completely lost my train of thought there now. Absolutely. Oh, and we're being sidetracked. No, get the water first. Let's get the water first. I've gone to all that trouble. I've got the base bashed up. because we needed to get water. So let's at least get water before we do anything else. There was a bag I saw over here, I thought. Ah, maybe it despawned. Now I need to pay attention to how many days it is since I went and said hello to Alpha and Bravo because I need to give them a chance to actually put something in those boxes. I'm really hoping that isn't some sort of glitch. Otherwise I would have to turn hunters off and on again. Maybe it was just absolutely poor timing and poor luck on my part. Chest? No, that's not a chest up there. Um... But I was surprised because obviously Alpha and Brave uh, spawned in a day apart. So I don't understand why I would have had, why both of them would have had empty chests. Um, come on, stand still. Thank you. You head up, head up, head up, head up, head up. Oh, you put your head down. Ah, oh, stupid critter. Okay. Um, no, did I reload? No, it wasn't that one. Uh, yeah, they were all reloaded. Right, let's, um, oh, try and get up the steps again. And do what we came to do, which was part of the Ultron. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I am a little bit concerned. There's ore out there. But... That's a bug. I mean, do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments if you think it might have been a bug. Basically, is it worth in a few days? Um, is it worth me going and trying to bash down a door of one of them again? Um, to see if there is anything in there. Because if there isn't, as I say, I shall need to turn hunters um, off and on again and see if that clears it out because uh, obviously I'm playing it on co-op just so that my um, dear sleeping partner over here can uh, come and join me. Oh, he's so cute. 
Um, so those sorts of bugs do show up more in co-op, in my experience. But yeah, just oh, really rabbit. That was a long shot, no pun intended. But it would have been quite impressive if I would have got it. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to need to make some more arrows. Do not make sticks. There you go. See, I'm learning. Make some more arrows. So, what is the plan going to be? We will make another lockpick. In fact, we will make another lockpick now. Because otherwise, we will forget to make a lock here. Two, one, two, three, four. It's about the only recipe I can remember. We go this back over here. We've got quite a bit of iron ore. I'm going to need to smelt up, actually. Let's smelt up some more copper, I think, is what we need to balance that out. And we will top up our faithful little generator. Oh yeah, gosh. Oh never mind. Right, yes, it's we need a plan. We need to have a plan as well as the continual search for lock crates. We need to have a plan. I want to carry on building down here. But we also said about, hang on, let's turn you on. We also said about we need more power storage and more mass storage. We more need more power generation. That comes down to the pearls. So I think we're going to need to go down Oh, he's been running around down there, Charlie. I think we're going to need to go down and go for a, a swim around. You see, actually, pearls, mm, you can sometimes be fortunate and get quite a few. This little bit here, the two sort of lagoon bits coming in here, the, the, the bays can be quite good. So we might, let's, we'll wait and see what happens with the rogues. And I reckon we might come down via the fishing hut and go for a little swim around here and see what happens and see what we can find because this one this this is just yeah if you're going that way it's worth checking those out but i don't think either of those bodies of water are enough to head out for a particular trip so yeah well i suppose two lock crates in a day was okay it's just a shame that we didn't get any more premium items and that we didn't get any more sinew because just one uh, I mean I know I've got the one rope that I need for the or the potential to make the one rope for the solar panel but I really do want to get some more things made all of which need rope so Recycle is about the only thing on the list that is not um, requiring rope, really. Ah, you see the fridge, but I'm going to want to do the mass for that. So, yeah, probably the recycler, because it should be quite easy to get to the power and the mass is just the right amount of mass. So, um, what you is that the bear wonder oh that's the other bear that was over that side okay well we will leave them be i'm stuck between two bears here look um that little bit of zinc is still out there mocking me so we will leave it here not as much excitement as the last episode but then they can't all be exciting sometimes you just have to you know have a little bit of a quieter calm day so I will see you in the next episode.